What's up guys, welcome back to Frosty Gaming. I'm really excited to bring this build video to you, this build list for you guys. If any of you guys wanna buy these parts, just keep in mind, the links are in the description down below. Um, they're always there on all my videos. Uh, make sure you check it out, go click on the links, see what you can find, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. So first of all, let's get into the CPU. So for the CPU, we chose the Intel i5-4690K, 3.9 gigahertz. It's a quad core, overclockable, running at 235 right now. So the price is only 235 bucks for an i5-4690K. That's a really good price. Moving on to the motherboard, we have an ASRock H97M Pro 4. That is a mouthful. Micro ATX, uh, so you can put this in a micro case if you want to. Uh, LGA 1150 chipset, excellent price on this motherboard, 89 bucks. So motherboard doesn't really matter too much unless you're like an extreme enthusiast. Um, this motherboard will get you by for a long time. Um, there's always updates coming out for it. And you, the, basically the biggest things in a build is gonna be your graphics card and your CPU, how well they work together. The motherboard doesn't matter too much. Um, obviously, if you wanna be an extreme enthusiast, you can go with a higher end motherboard, uh, similar to like what I have, like the Z170 platform or X99, you can go with one of those. But anyways, moving on to the RAM, we chose G-Skill Ripjaws X series, two four gigabyte sticks, so it's eight gigabytes total. DDR3 running at 1600 megahertz on the clock speed, only $43 for that combo price right there. So it's a really, really good price uh, on two sticks of G-Skills Ripjaws. Um, I used to use some G-Skill Ripjaws and it was okay. I think it was 1866 megahertz. I loved it for the longest time and now I've upgraded the Corsair Dominator Platinum and I like those now. But anyways, guys, moving on to the hard drive, we've got the Western Digital Black, one terabyte, 7,200 RPM, running at only 69 bucks right now. So 69 bucks for your, you're gonna put your, you know, your operating system on here. You're gonna put, I, uh, by the way, guys, for these builds, I, I already assume that you guys have, if you guys have watched my other videos before, which I'm sure a lot of you have, my, I already assume that you have a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, you know, those kinds of things. I don't usually include those things. If you want me to, let me know, I could do it in the future, but, most of you seem to not mind because I think most of you guys already have that stuff already. But anyways, moving on to the case, we have a Fractal Design Define R4. So I did splurge a little bit on the case. Uh, this is a windowed version, black case. It's silent, so it has silent inside the silent paneling inside the panels. 81 bucks. So you can usually find it for 79 or 85, somewhere in there. I have seen it on sale once for 69.99, and I think that was for the 4th of July sale. Yes, I do keep an eye on all this stuff for you guys, but um, that's a really good price on a Fractal Design case. Uh, they usually run over $100 easily, uh, but this one's been out for a little while, but uh, if you guys wanna pick one up, go ahead and pick one up for yourselves. So moving on to the power supply, we chose the Corsair Builder 600 watt, 80 plus bronze, not modular, and it's only running $54 right now. So. As for the power supplies, if you guys haven't noticed my last few builds, I've been using these Corsair Builder uh, power supplies. These, these power supplies are really, really good in the sense that they are low price, cost effective, uh, budget friendly, and they offer up a lot of good features. Um, modular not being one of them, but that's okay. So guys, let's get on to the last part of this build, which is the huge surprise. This build is under $1,200. And this is the big surprise. This is a 1080 G MSI GeForce GTX 1080 Armor Edition, eight gigabyte graphics card, Armor Edition, 759. That is awesome. <laughs> you can get a 1080 in this build for less than 1200 bucks. 759 plus, what was it for the CPU? 235, so that's seven, that's 900, that's almost thousand dollars just in the CPU and GPU combined that's amazing and then you got all those other parts for basically nothing that's awesome so you have an overpowered graphics card in this in this build your CPU might be your bottleneck who knows uh, I haven't tested this theory out but it's everything checked out okay um, I ran some tests and everything checked out okay so if you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you leave a like and a comment down below if this video reaches let's say a hundred likes in one week 
I will continue to do these builds on Tuesdays or Thursdays of your choice, preferably Thursdays, but this one's coming out on Tuesday. But anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. It definitely makes me really, really happy. Um, also, if you guys want to buy any of the parts, they're in the links in the description down below. Also, with all the parts that you see behind me in my setup. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Stay frosty.